What's up everybody, Wad the Below 7 here and welcome back to a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. Today, we're gonna be playing as Yuya Sakaki in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. As you guys know, in the recent main box, Infinity Destruction, we got Odd Eye Saber Dragon, Odd Eyes Dragon, we got some Performer Pal Boys, and that's the theme for today's video is that we're gonna be playing as Yuya Sakaki and seeing if we can win with his anime deck. Well, not his anime deck, but basically a deck that utilizes a lot of the cards that he used in the anime, and we're gonna be trying it out in today's Duel Links video. The point of this video is to not win every single duel. The point of this video is to have some fun and see if we can even get close to winning a duel with Odd Eye Saber Dragon. And I hope you guys are hyped for today's video. Let's go hop into rank PvP. If you guys are excited, leave a like on the video down below or leave a like on the video if we win any duels with this deck. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Duel Links content because I want to release a lot more Duel Links content for you guys. And yeah, without further ado, let's go hop into rank PvP and let's see if we can get some wins with this goofy deck. I cannot wait to go against the most meta deck possible in this game like i just can't wait for it we're gonna be going against banana senpai let's see what try hard deck he's gonna use somebody from the united kingdom yo it's at like 6 a.m for them right now i'm recording this at a more reasonable time compared to the previous video i'm recording this at like 12 a.m compared to like what 5 a.m on the previous video i don't know uh but yeah this guy that we're going against it's it's, it's early in the morning for him okay I like this hand actually. This hand's actually low key pretty spicy. Like, we could do all the combos that we want. So, first of all, the main combo that we got in this deck is Performa Pal Thunder I know. Um, all he is is a light monster, 1800 defense, and he does have the effect where monsters your opponent controls cannot target face of Performa Pal monsters for attacks except this one. Also, if a Performa Pal monster you control except Thunder I know would be destroyed by Battle Card Effect while his cards in your graveyard, you can banish it instead. So, this guy's cool. But the main reason why we utilize him is so we can summon it to Saber Dragon. Now, in this case, we're actually just just gonna set Thunder Rhino and just set enemy controller and pass because we have another performance power right here called Friendo Donkey or not Friendo Donkey but Friend Donkey and when he is summoned or when he's normal summoned specifically you can special summon a performance power monster so you can see the little combo going on here okay we're going against the Dark Magician that's fun oh that that's rough too that's actually really bad because once we summon our Saber Dragon he's gonna auto target with Dark Magical Circle <sighs> I genuinely don't think we're gonna get a single one in today's video. I really don't think so. I gen dude, Yuya Sakaki, I need your help. I need your luck, my guy. Because if I don't got your luck, we ain't gonna win these games. I need that protagonist luck real quick. Chaos form? No way, dude. Oh, dude, okay. And he's just gonna banish something out, right, isn't he? And if he's smart, he's gonna target, um, what's it called? He's gonna target my back row card. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Whatever. We'll just econ take. We'll econ take. Oh, wait. Okay, and this banish is correct. That's actually a problem, too, because now we can't... Oh, I gotta econ take no matter what. Because, yeah, he banishes our card, so I want our Thunder Rhino into the graveyard. Ugh, this is such a dumb play, but, like, we need a Thunder Rhino in the graveyard to summon into Honda Saber Dragon, so that's what we gotta do. Like, dude, like I said, in today's video, all we're gonna do is take L's left and right but you know what low-key this is actually a good scenario for us shout out to drawing into thunder rhino though we did not need to waste the enemy controller whatever though we're gonna go summon into that and i think in this scenario yeah we'll just do the one from the grave we'll do the one from the grave summon into saber dragon sacking up Thunder rhino sending the odd eyes dragons to the graveyard so odd eyes saber dragon is on the field next up we're gonna activate tides that bind we're gonna go swing at the uh, Magician's Rod, trigger the effect of Odd Eye Saber Dragon to get rid of Magician to Chaos. Uh oh. Okay, we're good. And we're gonna go direct attack for 1800 points of damage. Now, he can trigger Destiny Draw. That's gonna be a big problem for us because we have no outs on Destiny Draw. Maybe we should have not attacked him now thinking about it because uh, we would have had good board presence. Oh well. I wanna, I wanna get him as low as possible. Another Dark Magical Circle. Okay. Maybe he's trying to fish out for a Dark Magician or something. I have no clue. I, I don't think I should have actually attacked him for the second attack to not let him do his Destiny draw. But hey, on the bright side, at least we're both playing fun decks. We're not going against uh, Try Hard deck versus Try Hard deck. No way! We actually won a duel? First duel too? No way! I am genuinely shocked that we won the first duel with this Yu-Gi-Oh deck. Maybe I do have the protagonist luck. Leave a like on the video for that one, boys. But I guess let's move on to the next duel of today's video. 
I I am just as shocked as you are, low key. Shout out to Banana Senpai and his Magician of Chaos deck. I am legitimately surprised that we won against this dude because he is playing Dark Magician. So while this is not the optimal way to play Dark Magician, this is a pretty spicy deck with the Dark Magical Circle Magician Navigation. But hey, GG's to this guy. Let's move on to the next duel. The next opponent we're going to be going against is Super Yugi from Mexico. Let's see how super this Yugi is in this duel. We're going against the Yami Merrick. I do not think that that is Yugi. Okay, I mean, you got the Yami part going for you, but you don't got the Yugi part going for you. We're going first, it looks like. Let's go see what we're going to rock with. This hand is really bad. Oh, brother. Okay. We're just going to set the Performer Pal Call. Okay, my gut's telling me to set Swordfish. We're going to set Sword. My gut's telling me to do it. We're going to do it. Um, But yeah, so this trap card right here is kind of neat because whenever a opponent's monster declares an attack, you can target the attacking monster, and if you do, negate the attack, and then add up to two Performa Pal monsters from your deck to the hand. Pog Jam. And you know what? It doesn't matter. Dude, whatever we do in this duel, it's literally not going to matter, because we're going against Witchcrafters, and if this is a full power Witchcrafter deck, which it most likely is, we ain't winning. We, ain't, we are not winning. You give Verde out, and GG. Good game. Hey. I got the one win at the beginning of the video. We're good to go, boys. We'll take L's against all these other meta decks right here. God dang it, man. God dang it, man. Yeah, you can boost your, yourself up by a lot, too. Wow, another performance pop call. You know what? We're stalling, dude. We'll just play stall. That's, that's all we can do. We can negate attacks. We can um, summon swordfish. We can use our thunder rhino. We're playing stall, boys. Low key, now thinking about it, I probably should surrender so that we can just move on to another duel. But you know what? You never surrender. Because that is a pussy thing to do. I don't know why I said that. I'm going to have to censor that out. More editing work for me. Fog champ. There we go. Jeez, this guy's taking way too long to activate that effect. There we go. Like, I'm just chilling out here. I was able to grab like a whole meal while waiting for this guy to play one effect during his end step. Like, geez. Okay, let's see some witchcrafter combos. Destroy this Yuya Sakaki deck, my guy. You have like one of the tier one decks in the game. I think Witchcrafters is tier one, I'm not too sure. But you got one of the tier one decks in this game. Come on, get this dub real quick, my guy. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I need to really learn the matchup against Witchcrafters, uh, playing my uh, meta Levioneer deck. Um, cause my Light Sworn Levioneer deck is like a very turbo glass cannon deck that can climb the ladder really quickly. Um, but now that we're getting some more meta decks into the game, it's a little tricky here and there to win with, uh, that deck. Cause I know for a fact I can win against this deck, but I gotta play it like very, very, very smart. Basically, I gotta like bait out, uh, my opponent utilizing Verde's effect. And then once I bait them out, then I can kind of like gain advantage with either Levioneer or Michael and kind of go from there. So it's been an interesting process. All of you guys that watch my live streams, uh, you guys will know that I've been struggling here and there trying to learn how to play against Witchcrafters. So that's been something. But what is also something is how long this Yami Merrick's gonna play. Like I'm gonna jinx it by saying this, but we're literally gonna win by a timeout because of how long this guy's taking to make his plays. I mean, hey, maybe you just gotta learn the deck, which is uh, perfectly understandable, but like, you might deck out my guy. All I got is a Performer Pass Swordfish and that is it. There we go. Let's see some combos. Let's see some OTK action, my guy. Dude, deadass. I don't know where I put my phone, but I'm about to grab it for how long this guy's taking the play to make his plays, dude. I'm about to go text Misty real quick. Hold on, boys. Okay, so our opponent's finally attacking. Rip to the Performa Pal Swordfish. Then again, though. Wait, what are you doing? Are you boosting the attack or negating my effect? Uh oh. Does does this one that he's attacking with does piercing? No, it doesn't. Poor Performer Pal Swordfish. He did nothing wrong, man. He literally did nothing wrong. <laughs> wait, wait, I called it! I called it! I can't believe I actually called the time limit win, bro. This guy had the win. This guy literally had the win guaranteed to him, bro. All I had was a Performer Pal Swordfish. He had Verde out. He had a 3,800 attacking monster out. And we got the time limit win. That is two wins. That is two wins that we got in with this Yu Yu Sakaki deck. This is why you never surrender in Yu Gi Oh! Deluxe. Because low key, I probably should have surrendered at the beginning of that duel when he summoned Verde. But you know what? When stuff like that happens, 
I never regret not surrendering, which is just awesome right there. Like, what is going on in this video, dude? Literally, we have the protagonist luck. I cannot believe it. Like, let me just show you guys, too, like, how many duels I've done today. Like, I'll show you proof that th those were literally my first two duels, duels of today. Okay, I'm recording this on August 5th and hopefully uploading this video on August 5th. So, you know, check the description of the video down below. You'll see that it's August 5th. Look at that. The previous duels that I've been doing was August 3rd. Like, this actually blows my mind. What is going on here? We're going against this pretty top tier version of Witchcrafters, and we got that dub. Like, I am genuinely shocked. Next opponent we're going to be going against, Lumina. Are they going to be playing a Light Sworn deck? Let's see. Going against the Zane Truesdale, maybe we'll be going against the Cyber Dragoons. You never know. You never know. Going second this time around. Maybe we'll lose because we're going second, because the first two duels, we went first and won. And this hand's garbage. We can't even summon Saber Dragon, dude. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is not good. This is not good at all. Let's see what Zane got up his sleeve, though. Okay, so he's going right off the bat with a polymerization. Okay. Low-key, kind of scary, bro. He's just off the bat going for a poly. That makes no sense. What deck is he playing? He pitched a Swordswoman and a Beast King of the Swamp? What is going on? Okay, okay. Okay, what do, what do you do again? When a card that targets a card on the field, you can discard a card and negate the activation if you destroy it. Okay. Low key, we might actually be able to do something here. We're gonna summon Performa Palfrendo Donkey. Activate his ability to summon a Rhino. We're gonna activate Rhino, or we're gonna pitch off Rhino with Saber Dragon. Okay. And then we're gonna activate Tides That Bind. Okay. Let's go. And low key, my gut's telling me not to attack. My gut's telling me not to attack just because he could play Cyber Style. Then again, he only has one card though. So maybe I should have attacked. But that's a Pog Champ right there. I was genuinely surprised that happened. Sets a card, okay. Sets another card, that's not good. I don't like that set card though, low key, low key. Okay, we got another swordfish here. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna listen to my gut. We're gonna set the swordfish for bait. Tides that bind. Okay. Yeah, we just gotta keep swinging at this point now thinking about it. That's a, that's a bait right there. Oh no, it could have been Cyberload Fusion. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I made a mistake. Yeah, because you may have not been able to trigger anything because I could have been a Cyberload Fusion. Oh, uh, dude, the one time I don't listen. So I've been listening to my gut the entire duel. Listening to it the entire duel, bro. And the one time I don't, we're going to get clapped hard. We're going to get clapped hard. This guy's playing... What deck is this guy playing, though? Not going to lie, props to this dude for playing a creative deck because I was not expecting this, but... I should have not attacked. I should have only attacked uh, directly when we had lethal. And it looks like we're gonna be dealing with. I, I, I legitimately cannot comprehend what's gonna happen here. What is going on? What is, what is actually going on? No. We're gonna let our swordfish get kaputted. I am genuinely confused. Like, I legitimately do not understand what is going on right now. I just don't. I, I, I just don't right now. What I am going to do, though, is that we're going to finish off the Zane with our Cyber, with our Saber Dragon and go a longer day. Imagine watching a video where I play as Yuya Sakaki and, we, and our opponent summons a Parasychroid. It just makes absolutely no sense. Now, I gotta give this guy some props for the style points that he has with this deck. This is definitely a deck I would not expect to be going against, and it has some interesting combos going for it. I will give it that. It has some very, very, very interesting combos, that is for sure. But I definitely think he should probably put some more Cyber Dragon monsters in his deck if possible, since he is playing Cyber Style. That's just me, though. But very creative deck, I gotta say. Now for this video, we're gonna do one more duel. Probably should not, 
probably should not do one more duel so that we have the 100% win rate playing as Yuya Sakaki. But we're going to do one more duel for the video and let's go see what happens. The last opponent we're going against is Skull Deluxe from the United States of America. Let's go see what deck he's going to be playing. We're going to be going against a Kalen Kessler here. Probably going to be playing Infernity. Speaking of which, I probably need to make an Infernity video at some point. The win you'll gain a rank. That's going to jinx me, guys. That's going to jinx me, dude. Because I genuinely don't think we'll rank up with this. Especially for the fact that we opened up with Odd Eyes Dragon in hand. Oh, this is a horrible hand. Going against Infernities with a bad hand like this. I don't think we're winning, boys. I don't think we're winning. Econ, though, is kind of nice. So what we'll do... We're going to summon our Performer Pal Friendo Donkey. The friendliest donkey in the land. I don't think he's that friendly. I think this this artwork for Friendo Donkey kind of sus. Kind of sus, dude. Who would Phoenix Chain a freaking donkey? Donkey! Why are you... Dude, come on, my guy. That's just rude. This guy really Phoenix Chain, my guy. That is rude, dude. Well, let's see some Infernity combos. I need to learn how to play Infernities anyways, so pop off. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're gone. We're gone. Dude. We're gone, bro. Oh, we're gone. GG. This is game. This is a game right here. I think this is actually game. Hold up. Dude, these combos though are freaking spicy, dude. Dude, I'm literally learning right now, and I'm glad I'm going against this opponent just so that I can, like, understand some of the Infernity combos. Because I, I need to see the sauce. He has another launcher, so can he like synchro and then utilize his other launcher and then go for like another synchro? I want to see this. I, I genuinely want to see this. Oh snap. Oh snap. He can go for a 10 star right now actually, if he really wanted to. Now you have to discard a card for Coral Dragon, okay. But oh, but then he, wow. This is actually crazy. Dude, once I get that Kalen skill, I'm definitely going to try this deck out for a video. Because this deck looks sick. I'm so net decking this deck, bro. You don't even understand, dude. This has, like, the cool synchros, too. It doesn't have, like, the synchros you see all the time. We have, like, cool ones. Bro. This is a pog champ, dude. Yeah, just OTK me, dude. No way. Bro. <laughs> I don't think he should have done this. I don't think he should have went for that. He had game. Oh, wait. Is he flexing that hard? He is flexing that hard. Dude, this deck is crazy. This is crazy, bro. Wow. That, yeah, I'm I'm in awe. I'm in genuine awe right now. Do you have another six star in your deck? You do. Bra There's Bronny. Yeah, here's a popular guy. And then you can discard the cards to go from there. Very cool deck. Definitely my Yuya Sakaki deck would not be able to handle this deck whatsoever. But it should have not handled the Witchcrafter deck that we want to do to a time limit. There we go. He did so many combos all at once. And he was able to get the Flex of Divine Thunder to give it the bonus 3000 attack. That's insane right there. I gotta go net deck this deck real quick, boys. Um, and make a video out of it for sure. Because I think actually I have most of the cards for it. And I had no clue how I wanted to play Infernities. So, like, yeah. I want to go take a look at this. I told you guys that I was going to jinx. Whoa. Wait, hold up. This guy is only playing one Archfiend, three Mirage, and one Beetle. What the heck is this? This card can only be activated at the start of main phase one, either player, until your next draft phase. What the heck? This is crazy. Well, I still can low-key build this. Hold up, I can still low-key build this. I got just about everything for the stack except the three Phoenix Chain. And at that point, I could rock like a, yeah, like a Floodgate or something like that. I just need, once I get Infernity Inferno, I'm going to give this a shot because this is pretty spicy. Well, on the next episode of Watt 007 playing Duel Links, I'll have to go give Infernities a shot because that deck seemed really, really cool. But that's going to actually be it for me in today's Duel Links video. I knew I was going to jinx myself when I went in that last duel for today's video. But hey, we got three wins with the Yuya Sakaki deck. We got the protagonist powers on my side, which is awesome right there. And I'm super happy with how this video turned out. And if you guys did enjoy this video, why not leave a like on the video down below for just the insane plays and the insane things that happened in today's video. And 
be sure to subscribe to my channel for more Duel Links content. Thank you guys so much for the support on the channel recently. And yeah, I'll go see you guys in the next Duel Links video, everybody. Adios.